true legit. Welcome back. Woo! Neil here. I'm Josh. Eden. I haven't saved yet. You haven't saved yet? No. Oh After my god. We've got to do that. We're going to fight him again. We're going to fight him. Oh my god, no. You're insane. You're fine. You're <laughs> fine. <laughs> you imagine. <laughs> oh my god. Died here. <laughs> if I can... Oh my god, he's oh. coming. Oh. Okay. Now I'm gonna be scared shitless every time I see that guy. Like, no! <laughs> Not again! Like having, like, bad flashbacks. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, marble hallway! Ah! Uh, marble hallway! Man, Vietnam was a hell of a drug! <laughs> SOTN! SOTN! <laughs> oh, man. So what were we talking about, Amy? We were talking about... Indie, uh, oh yeah, Indiana Jones. Movie moments. Yeah. TV moments and stuff, yeah. Oh no, are there any, are there any other uh, TV oh, or movie no. moments that jump out you as instantly memorable? Uh, obviously, there. there's a couple of things that I know. The, the other obvious thing is, I love you, I know. Yeah, I know. right. And that's from Empire. If you haven't seen Empire, go shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> and That's for all Empire those people Strikes who Back. Are, yeah, for our Star Wars fans. <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. I uh, I can't say I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars. You know, I've, I've seen I've seen all of them in part or whole over time. And I've seen the first one a couple times. Good movies. But, you know, I guess maybe I, I wasn't... I, I was too young when I first saw it. Or, like, I, I just didn't quite get the whole sci-fi thing. Yeah. Oh god. It, it kind of eluded me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Star Wars, you needed to be at that special age when you first saw them. Yeah. In order for them to be magical. To I me, mean, they, were, they were incredible, especially for the age. The Lucasfilm pulling out those graphics and everything in the 70s. Oh yeah, groundbreaking. Like, just mind-blowing. Even now, I can totally appreciate how amazingly skilled that, like that, that was. That first scene where the uh, Krillian blockade runner, I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm not a Star Wars fan. Star Wars fans are nerds. <laughs> yeah, right. He's being chased by the or Krillian Corvette. It's a Krillian Corvette. Okay. He's being chased by the Star Destroyer. Mm -hmm. That's ingenious. That's like one of the best scenes in cinematic history. Yeah. Because there's so much going on. Ooh, a circlet. Mm. I feel pretty. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Defense down int way up. Whoa, okay. Good stuff. I got mad ants in this house. My spell's gonna be dealing so much DMG. <laughs> DMG. Oh, That's you. the Dungeon Master's Guide. Yeah. Fucking nerds. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dungeon Master's Guide. Can't wait until we play D&D &D again. Oh, yeah. We're, hu we're huge nerds. We really are. You're watching this and <laughs> you don't know. Look like. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. I think, uh, look, to be honest, that's the pivotal geekdom, nerddom thing. If you play Dungeons & Dragons, you cannot deny being a nerd. I'm looking at you, Vim Diesel. <laughs> yeah, not, not that you do deny it, but you cannot deny that if you play Dungeons & Dragons, you can't deny being a nerd or a geek or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, something that defines your nerdiness. <laughs> Like, it, only nerds really play d and I have never met anyone who hasn't gone, Yes, I'm a nerd, and plays d and Do you want to c cater to our nerd crowd by doing some... Try, trying to improvise some... Some jokes for your character? Oh my god. So, so Neil is playing a... A lizard man in 5th edition, and there's no... Oh, thank god, a save point. Woo! There's no stats for lizard men in 5th edition yet, so we just made them up, and he's playing a lizard man. And he's kind of like a fish out of water character. Yeah. So, uh, we came up with the idea that he would tell jokes, but <laughs> they would to. be like really off, off humor, off color for D and D jokes, because he's you know a fish out of water and he's kind of awkward. So you want to want to tell a couple jokes? All right. Well, let's see. Um, a bullywog walks into a bar and asks. For some food, and he says, "I'm sorry, we don't serve frogs here." 
And then the lizard man comes out of the shadows and stabs him in the back. <laughs> and the bartender says, oh, I'm sorry, that's my mistake. We're serving frogs like tonight, in fact. Do you <laughs> Just bad, bad oh, yeah. jokes. Yeah. Oh, it's Maria. Oh, shut up, Maria's talking. Bernard. I'll trust you for now. Look at her I booty shorts. Yes. Yeah. So hot. No kidding. She's sexy hot pants with her, like, <laughs> knee-high <laughs> leggings <laughs> or uh, socks. Yeah. Perhaps yeah, that's some lo- those are some long socks right there. There's yeah. a lot going on with her outfit. She's got a hat on. I'm trying to remember one of the other jokes I made up. I was sitting at home like, what's what's some bad jokes I can come up with for this character? <laughs> okay, you might be a bullywog if you leave a slime trail after getting out of the bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh... My gosh. Oh, yeah, I, I wanted to come up with some more redneck style jokes, but there's only so much you can do with the you might be a redneck. Yeah. Even even Foxworthy runs out after a while, although I'm I gotta yeah, give him credit. Has he run out yet? Has he stopped doing redneck jokes because it's kinda like culturally <laughs> insensitive yeah, to redneck <laughs> just a little, hey. But um, rednecks are the people who like those jokes, aren't they? It's true, like you that's know? that's his, that's who he caters to. Well, I mean, it's it's the same thing for us, right? What kind of jokes do we like? Jokes that bash nerds. Do do we? Yes. Okay. The good jokes, not like oh fucking stupid neckbeard nerds. Like neck, no, neckbeard is pretty funny. Neckbeard is kind of funny. Honest. Okay, yeah, because you know what? It's kind of true. It is kind of true. But you know, everybody likes their own. Yeah, brand. self self deprivating. Yeah. Fantastic when it's done right. Yeah, I mean, some of the best comedians in the world are completely self-deprecating. It's yeah. One of those things, we love to torture ourselves. Oh my god, <laughs> we love, love people to watch us torture ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you were saying, that table was torturing me? That table was totally torturing you. He came at your ass. Wait, that, that sounded really bad. Um, uh, he came in my ass? Does that sound yeah. any better? <laughs> he came on my ass. Oh. Ooh, glowing doorway. He came at the general direction of my ass. Oh, yeah, God. let's talk about glowing doorways. Yeah, they are special. You have to know you don't have the key, no. whatever it is for it. So I'll find a blue orb or a blue box or something later on that will let me access different areas of the castle that are blocked off right now. Oh, that sounds a lot like Metroid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> straight up ripped off from Metroid. Fuck it, this game's great. Yep. They call it Metroidvania for a reason, yeah. and not sarcastically. They call it that lovingly. Yes, absolutely. That, that is a genre. Yeah. Metroidvania is a genre. It really has become a genre. The new Rogue Legacy oh, is a Metroidvania-style game. Oh, oh no! Oh my god! Everything went wrong! <laughs> okay, total miss. There we go. There. Uh, I meant to do that. I did. That enemy always gave me a giggle. A hot woman attached to the end of an evil monster's yeah. tail. Like, that's okay, a pretty brilliant distraction. Bing, 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 bing. bing, bing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is he's always just, something cool. He's just gonna back up. Until I get to, like, the next enemy. Nice. Oh, uh, my uh, sword uh, is so short. It is. <laughs> yeah. She I'm doesn't waiting like for to drop swords. Oh. oh. See, look, she screams and curls up and runs away. Ah! Don't want no short sword man. Oh, yeah. Short, 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 short. Don't want no, don't want no. Don't want no short sword man. Oh, too good. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one who knows that song. Oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of del- self-deprecating, depre- <laughs> deprecating. Yeah. Uh, hey man, guilty pleasures, nothing wrong with it. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I, um, I... Like, comment, and subscribe if you like uh, short-dicked men, or short-sorted men. <laughs> short sword men. Hey, it's not about the length, it's about the width. Well, no, okay, it's, it's a the bit girth. the length, too. <laughs> the girth. The girth no, is what's the important. the real phrase is, it's not about the size of the boat, it's about the motion of the ocean. Ah. This is the man with the smallest penis ever. Oh <laughs> god, I don't, I don't know if I can do this guy. Says the man with the smallest penis ever. Are you saying you have the smallest penis ever? No, I'm saying the guy who made that <laughs> phrase. Who said that. Yeah, my penis is huge. It's like, at least 
<laughs> Twice as big as John Holmes. Oh, good lord. Okay, check this out. Here's a nice little secret. Oh. All right. Pot roast was happening in there. And you're just chilling? Yeah, I'm just chilling. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Maybe. Is he waiting for it? Now? Oh, 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 what the? Oh, you, did you know about this? I had no idea. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll find out what those are next time. To be continued. Dude, I had <laughs> didn't, no clue. You know that? No. Yeah, I, I don't know. I knew. That's flipping awesome.